Hi everyone! In this video, we will solve an equation with variables and constants on both sides. The first thing we want to do is isolate the variable. That means move all of the terms with the variable on one side of the equation and all of the constants to the other. And we can pick either one, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to choose to move the 2y over. To do that, I need to do the opposite operation to negate this. Here it is a subtract or a negative 2y. The opposite will be to add 2y to both sides. On the right, negative 2y plus 2y cancels. On the left hand side, combining the like terms, we have negative 5y plus 2y, which gives us negative 3y. We still have the plus 7 and the positive 28. We need to continue isolating the variable, so we will move the constant of 7 to the other side of the equation. This is a positive 7 or a plus 7, and the opposite to negate that will be to subtract 7 from both sides. Positive 7 minus 7 cancels. And on the right hand side, 28 minus 7 gives us 21. We're left with negative 3y on the left hand side. And now we only have one more step to isolate the variable. We look for all the operations. This is multiplication. The opposite to negate that will be to divide by negative 3 on both sides. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 cancels. So we're left with y, which equals 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7. So our solution is y equals negative 7. We should go ahead and check our solution by substituting it back into the original equation to see if we did all of our calculations correct. We can always know if we got the correct answer in these equations. So we have the original equation of negative 5y plus 7 equals negative 2y plus 28. And we'll substitute every time we see the variable. And we'll substitute negative 7 in for that variable. We get negative 5 times negative 7 plus 7 equals negative 2 times negative 7 plus 28. The parentheses help us know that that is multiplication and not a negative 5 minus 7. It helps to make all of the operations and the signs clear. So we're going to multiply first using the order of operations. Negative 5 times negative 7 gives us a positive 35 plus 7 equals on the right side negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. And we still have the plus 28. Now we can do the last step in the order of operations which is adding and subtracting. 35 plus 7 is 42, and on the right hand side, 14 plus 28 is also 42. So it checks 42 does equal 42. That means that our solution of y equals negative 7 is correct, and we're all done.